Welcome to a quick team overload at video by me, Bjorn. All about the Hannah's sweets problem on the non-calculator paper of the Edexcel maths exam that has gone so viral in the last 24 hours. A lot of people seem to have a few complaints about this question, so I thought I may as well make a video on it. I didn't think it was too bad myself, but we'd better get started and see the question. As far as I can remember, this is the question. Hannah has n sweets in a bag. Six are orange, and the rest are yellow. She takes a sweet at random and eats it. She takes another sweet at random and eats it. The probability that both sweets are orange is a third. Show that n squared minus n minus 90 equals zero. It seems like quite a job, doesn't it? However, I'm about to show you but the maths required to prove the statement isn't too complicated. We've just phrased oddly. So here we go. When you normally deal with probabilities of multiple events, you would draw a tree diagram. You would draw branches to represent the different outcomes and multiply along the branches to get an overall probability. For example, you could show that the probability you'd roll a four and a ten, multiple of four and a ten sided dice is a fifth, and the probability you'd get a tail and a coin is a half. So the probability both would happen is a fifth times a half, which is a tenth. It's no different here. You can do the same technique, and in fact, you have to do the same technique to uh, get the answer that you want. So, at first, there are n sweets and six are orange. That means there is a six in n chance that the first sweet chosen will be orange. Similarly, after, after you eat that sweet, there are now five sweets in the bag. But in total, there's n minus 1. Now, you should be able to see where these numbers come from, because if sweet's gone, that means there's now five, one less than before, 5 orange and n minus 1 total. So therefore, the chances of the second one being orange, it's a simple division, 5 over n minus 1. Now you can mu multiply all the way along the, uh, the branch of the tree diagram. You'll get 6 over n multiplied by 5 over n minus 1. And that will simplify down... 30 n minus n, n, 30 n, 30 over n, n minus 1. It's, don't try and say algebra. It's, it's a mess. Um, if you don't see why that is, you might want to get a pen and paper and just like make notes and just make sure that you're following along because obviously it is difficult to speak algebra. But from here, you've, you've broken the camels back here. You've got now, 30 over n, n minus 1, which is a third. Because, obviously, in the question it states that probability is a third, but you know it's 30 over n, n minus 1. Now, we're going to get that pesky n, n minus 1 off the, off the bottom, because it's just going to annoy you. So you'll multiply through by that to get the equation 30 equals a third of n, n minus 1. Now multiply through by 3. And you'll get 90 is nn minus 1. Now if you expand the bracket, you'll get nn n squared minus n is 90. And lastly, it's just a simple case of sub subtracting 90. Um, and, you know, that process does make it feel a lot, you know, less difficult than maybe it was, because you, you would have needed divine inspiration to do that, I think. It, it was weirdly phrased, but... You know, it was a difficult exam, I think. Some people are maybe drumming it up to be a bit more difficult than it was, but I think I think it was maybe four or five marks more difficult than average, just based on how I think I've done. I, I don't think it was a particularly easy paper, but overall, I hope you get the best results you, you can, because you know what? The better results you get, the better future you'll have. So, thank you for watching. Uh, good night from me, Bjorn.